All right, let's try to create these follower text animation. To do this, we're going to use the follower modifier. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this text right here so that I don't have to write everything again. Now that you have your text, open this in Fusion. Here, we're going to right click and select follower. Go to the modifier section. Now, in order, make sure to set to left to right. The delay, we're going to set it to two. And then we're going to go to the transform section. Here, change these from character to words. Now we are going to go, let's say frame 12 or 13, and I'm going to create the keyframes right here. And I'm going to make these small all the way to zero. But before we do that, I'm going to actually set this to one because we're going to have to also animate the pivot point. So we're going to set the pivot point to zero at here. Now ignore this path that is created. You can see the path right here, but we're not going to use that. So after that, we're going to go to the zero to frame zero and make sure that this one is a little bit lower. Now you can see the path right here. If you want, you can actually modify this right here as well and move these whatever you want. Now what will happen is that both of these will move or animate at the same time, which will give us the effect of the text going word by word and not character by character. To make this look cooler, go to the spline section, select everything, press Ctrl A, press F, and then ease in and ease out. If you want, you can add motion blur to these. So go to tools, settings, and then activate motion blur. So here, the settings are up to you. So feel free to play around until you get something that you like. Now, let's add a glow effect. Add a glow, and you can use any of the glows that you have. Decrease the glow size a little bit, and also the glow, and also the blend. But it's up to you, as I always say. Now, if you don't want the text to actually just be still like that, you can add a camera shake node, add a camera shake, and then make sure that you decrease the deviation and then the Y deviation as well. But that's moving a little bit too much still. So you can decrease the speed and also overall strength. As you can see here, now the text is floating and you have that cool text animation. And then you can always go to the edit page and then modify these however you want. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the following tutorial, which will be this exact same text effect, but I will go a little bit more in depth and it's going to be a little bit more of a slower pace so that you can learn more about using the follower modifier to create this type of text animation. That's it.